Well, Carl, commiserations first of all. Um, I mean, how do you assess the performance? Yeah, look, it, um, you know, couldn't be more proud of the boys. They gave everything tonight. Um, you know, it's been a long season. And, you know, I think we just, in the end, just ran out of petrol. Um, we had some good opportunities in the game to, you know, sort of kill it off. But um, that's football, you know, that's why, you know, everyone talks about Melbourne City, how how threatening they are with their attack, but they um, people forget to, to mention how strong they are at the back and they don't give you many opportunities. And if you don't um, take those opportunities when they come, you know, you get punished. Um, you know, so full credit to, to City, they're a good side and, you know, we pushed them today, but we just, just couldn't do enough to get over the line. Obviously, it took an amazing goal from Zach to give you guys the lead, but what were some of those things as well that you did like that came out of today's game? Because obviously you guys were ahead. There were those moments where you were threatening. What were some of those things that you liked? Yeah, look, it was, um, you know, I think, you know, the finals football was a little bit more pressure than, than a league game, normal league game. And I think it just at times we didn't take enough care with the ball um, and we started to sort of just veer a, a little bit um, direct a little bit too much at times um, but you know that's that's what pressure does to you at times um, and as I said the uh, people forget to, to how difficult they are they don't give you many opportunities um, so look we gave everything that's all you can ask as a coach from your players and they gave everything so I'm you know proud the boys are very disappointed you know they gave a lot and you know we've got some yeah, very disappointed boys in the change room. Carl, just looking at this in the context of the wider season, you've come agonisingly close here to, to get into a grand final. You, more than any club, I suppose, were hit by defections, weren't you? Do you feel that it's really a big one that got away? If you'd had Halloran and Stefan Mork, this could have been a very different finale this season? Uh, yeah, that's, you know, in saying that, you know, we, we lost you know, two quality players out of our team and we were missing a few players for long periods of the team as well, but we brought in some quality players as well in Hero and, and Lockie Brook and Zach. So, you know, that's, you know, football. We, you know, the players that we had at the time, you know, even our young boys, you know, they will learn a lot this year. Um, so hopefully, you know, they'll come back better and, and more, with a little bit more experience and we expect to get a little bit more out of those players next year. And just a comment on, on Alexander Popovich. I mean, he was again enormous today. You know, made some a number of key interventions against you know someone like Jamie McLaren, who is obviously the league's top goal scorer. Just a comment on his development because he's come in throughout the season. He's looked like you know, like he's just looked like a, a seasoned pro already. Yeah, look, Alex is um, you know, I've known Alex for a long time, and he's a, a rare player that we have in Australia at the moment because he can actually defend and knows how to defend, um, which is very rare at the moment in, in Australia. Um, but he's, you know, young, he's, I think that's maybe 10 games he's had this year. So, um, you know, he just has to get his body right. And when we can get his, his body right, um, you know, he'll be a very um, good defender for us, you know, in the future. Obviously, this is still raw now, but in terms of where to next, how much of this squad do you think you're going to be able to keep together um, and you know, I guess where to in terms of recruitment as well? Yeah, look, um, you know, I'm sure there'll be some announcements over the next couple of weeks from our squad, but, um, you know, we try to keep as much of the squad together as we can. Um, we've got a very good balance at the moment with our senior boys. Um, they're actually, you know, providing a good pathway for our young boys to learn from. Um, and that's you know where we I am as a coach, and that's where we are as a club. We want to, you know, develop our young players and give them the opportunities to go on and achieve their dreams. I just wanted to ask Carl. You mentioned that you felt like the team ran out of petrol by the end of the game. Is that something that you could feel at the end of the ninety? Were you did you sense that in the group? Yeah, you, you could you could sense that with 10, 15 minutes ago in, in the in normal time. Um, you know. There's three games in the, in the seven days. It's it's tough, you know, over a long season as well. Um, so, you know, that's the advantage that the top teams got. got. They didn't have to do that. So, um, but, in, you know, in saying that, um, you know, 
it was just yeah you know the quality of city in the end you know paid you know they got you know the two goals and yeah so yeah it's not much more we could do we as i said we gave everything you know we took a few risks towards the end as well to try and get the goal but we just couldn't um get hold of the ball just in terms of three guys obviously coming out of contract this year, Michael Jakobsen one day and Javi Lopez, obviously they are, you know, all of them 35. Are, they, are you expecting them again to go around? Have you had any hints about whether they want to play on next season? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that they all, all three of them want to play on and I think they showed tonight that um, they've all still got a lot to give. Um, so, you know, that's a working process for us. Um, as I said, the... Um, we're very fortunate with the senior players that we've got on how much um, input they put into our young players and help with that development. So, um, um, yeah, they, they drive a lot of our culture. We talk a lot about our culture at our club and that is, you know, driven a lot by the, by the senior players in the, in the change room. So you just took a few risks at the end and that included a really young front line going for it with the game on the line. In the end, it might not have gone that way tonight, but that must bode well for the future of this football club? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, I, I back the young players in and we've backed them in all, all season. Um, you know, they've, I don't know how many goals um, our young players coming off the bench have got us this year in late in games. Um, and that's all they need. They need that belief and, and to go out there and try things. And it didn't work for them today, um, but they'll learn from, from this performance today, you know, to have that exposure in such a high pressure game, you know, they'll, they'll learn from that. Just Craig Goodwin has also been so influential on, on loan. Do you feel like you can get him back again? Like, Yeah, look, as I say, there's a, there's a few moving parts to that. Um, and Goody knows how, how much we want him to, to stay with the club. Um, but there's a few things that we need to, to sort out and we'll do everything we can to, to keep him at the club. And Cassini obviously just got the, the Oli Roos call up and he, I think he's been linked as well. Are you hopeful or confident of keeping him? Um, yeah, look, uh, um, Cass is, you know, I, I think we saw today how much of a threat he can be. Um, but it, it, again, you know, he just needs um, some consistent football. Um, he's had a lot of injuries over the last few years um, and hopefully he can, you know, ho I hope he stays with, with the club. Um, he needs to to be in an environment where he can um, flourish and and express himself because he is he, he's a little bit out there, Cass, and you don't want to you know put too many restrictions on him, um, and he just needs to get his body right. And I think he he's starting to get in that spot now where his body is starting to to be able to handle the loads of, of professional football, um, you know. And I as I, say, I hope he stays with us because. Um, you know, he's the type of player that I, I really enjoy coaching.